Hey everyone, I hope you're having an awesome day and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to recreate this gold smoky cat eye type look. This is the look that I was wearing in my most recent video, which I will link in the description bar if you did happen to miss it. It's super easy and a lot of you were requesting this once I did upload that video, so I'm going to show you guys how to get it in this one. So if you want to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. So for this look, all of the shadows came from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar and I really want to eat this. It smells so good. It's got a really nice mixture of warm tones and shimmers in this palette. So first up, we're taking this mid-tone warm brown. We're going to sweep that one through the crease just on a large blending brush. All this is is basically the transition color and it's going to work just to, uh, you know, warm up that socket there and just create a really nice base for blending later. Then we're taking this shimmery deep brown and we're going to be sort of working that directly through the crease and in the outer V. Just sort of forming a nice shadow there where your lid will naturally fold over. This will just add a little bit of darkness and if you're having trouble blending it out just go back in with that larger brush that you used earlier to really buff out those edges. Now I'm going to do some highlighting on the brow bone, just using this shimmery champagne-y kind of colour. If you want to use a matte highlight on your brow, there is a nice matte highlighting shade in the palette as well. Now for the star of the show, this is the Australis. It's a cream eyeshadow from their Metallic um, Limited Edition collection. It's called Bronzonce. 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 <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, but anyway, it's extremely similar to the Stila. Um, Magnificent Metals shadow so if you're looking for a really affordable dupe to one of those these are great and I'm just basically popping this one all over the mobile lid and then going back and highlighting the inner tear duct again oh I just love the way this gold looks it's gorgeous sweeping that same transition shade through the lower lash line just to smoke it out if you want to make this look a little bit darker sort of more nighttime appropriate you could use a darker color underneath this lower lash line which will really sort of deepen it all up Okay, moving on to eyeliner and today I'm only going to be doing half a wing or a mini wing which is basically an extended cat eye wing that ends in the middle of the eye, sort of right where your pupil is when you're looking straight ahead. This will help smaller eyes appear larger and brighter and it will also help those of you with hooded lids, it will help those eyeshadows that you've applied underneath peek through because a lot of the time if you've got hooded lids, once you've got an eyeliner on, you then can't see any of the eyeshadow work that you've got going on underneath. So yeah, just drag this one all the way just to the center of the eye and finish it up there and then finally to finish the cat eye we're going to apply some thick coats of mascara and then some half lashes which will really help to emphasize that cat eye shape again and you can just cut any pair of eyelashes that you've got in half and stick them on the outer corner just sort of where you've popped that wing and it'll really elongate the eye and just make small eyes appear so much bigger and then once again to further open and brighten the eye, I'm just taking a nude eyeliner pencil through the lower waterline. This is one by Rimmel. It's my all-time favorite. It's so creamy. Okay, moving on to the face. I'm going to use my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. And I did go a little cray-cray with my concealer. I'm not going to lie. I wanted a really dewy, glowy, highlighted look. So I'm basically highlighting every single high point of my face. Um, so underneath the eyes, there where I get dark circles, tip of the nose, bridge of the nose, middle of the forehead, above the eyebrows, cupid's bow area, chin, and then also underneath where I would normally apply my contour. And basically this will just offset any of the darker shadows around the face and it'll really lift and brighten the face up. I'm buffing this one in using a Morphe brush. This is the Morphe G2. It's my current obsession for blending in concealer. It just makes it so quick and easy. It gives a really airbrushed finish too. Then to contour, I'm gonna use my Australis AC on Tour contour palette. Basically a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but a lot more affordable and a lot more accessible here in Australia. And I'm going to take that yellow shade and I'm going to pop that one underneath the eyes and anywhere else where I've applied concealer. And that'll just really help to brighten and set the concealer in place. And then going in with one of the darker brown colors, and I'm just going to use that one to contour. So sort of chisel out the cheekbones there and also pop it sort of just above my eyebrows on the sides of my face to really sort of slim down the face and the forehead. Now it does look a little cray cray in the lighting on the camera here, but in real life, it was sort of like a really natural kind of looking contour. I don't know what goes on with the cameras and the lights sometimes. And <laughs> let's face it, I'm a bit of a contour girl anyway. 
And I like it a lot darker than some others. So yeah, just do it however you want to do it. Then for blush, I'm applying my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Diffused Heat. Love this. I've been obsessed with this since I bought it. It's perfect for olive undertone skins. And then taking this Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. This is a highlighter and it is in the shade Perfect Topping. I'm sorry it's limited edition, but Light Scapade by MAC is a very, very close match to this one. Now, lips. This is the first time I actually used this product. It's the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the color Melted Peony. <gasps> Love Affair. I just, oh, it's pink and it's easy and it tastes and smells amazing. I'm sold. <laughs> and once you've done the lips, that finishes the entire look, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you've got any questions, you can pop them down there as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Directly after applying your foundation with a sponge or a little rubber applicator, it's going to give you a much smoother finish than if you were to just dust the powder over the top. Tip number four is all about the lips.